Welcome to the first video of 2022. And we already have a new version of D5 Render. This one comes with a lot of neat features. There's this one, that one, and all of this. Did you catch all of that? <laughs> Don't worry, in this video I'll go through the top 11 features of D5 Render 2.1. So let's get started. is D5GI. So now they introduced this D5GI in this new version and as you can see here it creates less noise and it's using a hybrid GI solution and they have the, re the retracing and also light probe based GI. So these light probes are basically these uh, uh, little spheres that you see here and they are placed around the scene. Each sphere captures the light information on that specific area and so with this light information it can give a more accurate lighting. And now feature number two is D5 widget. And this one is actually divided into several new features because this D5 widget, now you can find it on, uh, if you go to here to the menu and then preferences, you'll find here widget and you can activate several new features here. So you have advanced image rendering, advanced video rendering, VR beta, stage light and color grading. So I'm going to activate all of them these are toggles, so I can activate like this. And now let's go to image rendering. So if I go to take a, a new image, now I can select new formats instead of just PNG, I can select JPEG, Targa, TIFF, raw image, and the same one tone mapped. So you have all of these options. And also for the video, if you go here to the video, you can also select MP4 or AV file format as well. You can also use the virtual reality and this one I cannot show you because I don't have a VR headset so but now they already support this. We have as well a new light which is the stage light so let me put this here inside. So this stage light you can select different types of uh, goggles here or like this one can control a little bit better and even the color so basically it's a light already with some masks applied to it that you can use and the next one is color grading which is really nice so now you can go here to effect and on the effect you have a new tab here color grading so this color grading now you can use here this color wheel to control the global or the shadows, the midtones and the highlights. You can also reset all of them. So let's go here to global, for example. And so if I move this to this color, you can see that it makes all the scene with this purple or pink. And uh, if you move to, to the right, to the blue tone, so you can start to color grade a little bit. But one interesting thing here is that you can go, for example, to the shadows and uh, Let's say that I want my shadows a little bit reddish, so I can move here the slider to the red, and so all of my shadows will have this uh, reddish tone. I can control here the saturation, less saturated, more saturated, okay, brighter or dark. And I can control the midtones, okay, and also the highlights, okay. So you can see better here in the in the sky. So if I want to a little bit more blue sky, I can still control it here. And so now you can do all of this color grading directly inside D5 Render. And the next feature is customizable assets. So now you can, on a vehicle, for example, you can turn the lights on and off, you can control the intensity, you can select if you want to see the driver or not. For characters, you can control the clothing, the color of the clothing. And now you can also scale the particles as well. So let me show you all of this. If I go to the asset, so I'm going to select this car. Let's place it around here. Now you can see here the driver inside the car, but here on the parameters, I can select the driver on or off. I can select the light okay. and the intensity and also the color of the car as well, I can control here. 
Okay, so this is for the, the cars, for the vehicles, but uh, you can also control in the um, characters. So if I select here this character, you can go here to cloth color and they have different options. So I think that if I select another one, for example, this one, I can still control here the clothing for both. And there's also adjustable parameters for particles like scaling. And by the way, if you would like to know more about D5 Render, I do have a course for that. And I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. Feature number four is 2D character assets. So now if you go to assets, you will find here on the character and then you go to 2D people and here you'll find now these new assets. And so let's place a couple of those here. So you can see now that these assets, the new assets, they are always looking at the camera. And they will be lit as well according to the type of lighting you are using. So let me change here the, the lighting. So if the sun is shining, so it, they will be lit accordingly. And so you have a couple of options that, uh, that you can use here. And of course you have to pay attention because some of these assets, they already come with the uh, lighting. This one is for daylight. So with the sun shining, you see the shadow here. You have to try to match your lighting in your scene with the 2D character asset that you are using. And feature number five is enhanced smoothness. And so this smoothness, it's basically how many frames per second you will have when working in, uh, in D5 Render. And as you can see here, we have on the left side, we have a before version. And this before is in version 1.9 and the right side is version 2.1. And so you can see that with the same scene, it's about double the frames per second. So you will be able to work much better, much faster without so much lag now in this new version. So feature number six is orthographic image rendering. So in this new version of D5, you can go to camera and if you select any of these views, let's select the top, for example, you can zoom in to a part of that you want to render. Let's say that you want to render this section. Now you can simply place the camera like this and go to image. And now you can take a, a shot of this orthographic view. You can also go to the camera and if you don't like this view, you can, for example, left view. You can also do that. So you can also take a orthographic view from the left side, right side. So all of this now you are able to take a render. The next feature is auto save. Oftentimes when you're working your projects, it can happen some crashes with the software. With D5, I hadn't had any issues with this, but uh, with other software, it actually happened many times. And it is a little bit frustrating when you have a lot of work done and the software crashes and so you don't have anything saved. So now we have on the preferences here on the general, you can activate the out of save feature. And here on the timer, it's the interval of how many times you want it to be saved your work. So I have here by default for 10 minutes, but you can select uh, with a slider more or less time. So this is a, a very nice addition to this new version of D5. And the next feature is adjustable sunlight intensity in geo and sky. And if you go here now to the geo and sky, you can click here on these three dots and you will have the month like before. You'll have the north offset but also the sunlight intensity. So you can increase until two or decrease until zero. And feature number nine is new shortcuts. And these new shortcuts include for render quality, for display mode and for navigation. So now you can press F1, F2 and F3 to switch between the three types of uh, quality here inside if I render. So before, if you went here to the display, you will find preview quality, low, middle, and high. So now just press F1, F2, and F3. And another one is that you can press Alt V, and this one will be switching the orbit or fly mode. And lastly, you can press Alt 1, 2, 
and free to switch between the lit mode, wireframe and clay mode. And feature number 10, it's optional channel map rendering. When you go to the render, to take a, a new render in D5, you'll find here option and channels. So you can click here, this icon on the bottom, and you'll find now the sky mask, AO, material ID, reflection and transparent. So you can select which one you want this to be rendered. And the last one is LUT effect preview on over. And so this means that when you go to the effect and you have here the LUT, and by the way, if you don't know what is a LUT, this means uh, color lookup, and it's a file that has already all the color correction, color grading, everything already inside this file. And so every time you switch between them, it will have different types of color grading applied to the scene. And so if we click here, and now if you over it, you will see the difference between them. And so you don't have to click, you know, and now click again. So this just saves a little bit of time when you are overing to select the best one. What are your thoughts on the new version of D5 Render? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.